Okay, everybody. So, um, the previous video, we actually stopped at finishing up the features of the potato. Now, we are going to continue with the pattern. And in row 10, it actually says one single crochet in each of the next two stitches increase in next stitch. So, what it means in um, layman terms. Sometimes I find the crochet way of talking is like, oh my god. So, it means that you do two single crochet and then one increase stitch so you notice that this is actually a multiple of three stitches okay you look back at row nine we actually ended off with 24 stitches and so it's actually um eight sets of this two stitch two single crochet and one increased stitch kind of settings so and then that means we're going to increase eight stitches and which is going to end up with 32 stitches so now i'm going to show you how this work so remember i actually finished one stitch just now right the first stitch of row 10 so i'm going to do one more stitch Okay, and then the next stitch will be an increase. So how you increase is you crochet as per normal. And then in the same hole, can you see the hole here? I'm going to crochet one more time into it. And so with this, it means that by the time we went through, by the time we go through with three stitches from the previous round, we will have four stitches. One, two, three, four. Four stitches. So every three stitches from the previous round that we crochet into will end up with one extra stitch. This is how we do an increase, right? So just now, I mean, in the row two and three, we already showed the increase before. So how I usually remember, you're like, ha. Ah, I must really focus on remembering it. How ah? So what I usually do is, um, you know, it's two stitches, a uh, two single crochet, and then one increase. So I actually count in my mind, one, two, three. So you know, it's multiple of three, right? So three, I know I'll increase. So now is four, five. Sorry. Six, aha, uh -huh. multiple of three. It means that this stitch I'm going to increase. Okay, why am I always missing? Okay, so now again, so after six is seven, seven, eight, nine. Again, this is a multiple of. Three, so I'm going to increase here. Okay, this method uh, will actually helps you to will actually help you to keep track of how many stitches you have stitched already. You have crochet already. You know that like, you are starting with twenty four, and then now I have done nine, so I actually have another fifteen to go. Okay, so you won't. Is, I find it easier to actually um, remember which, which stage I am in even after talking. So I know 9, 10, 11, 12 again. Two stitches. 13. 14 15 I don't know whether you remember or you could have seen the the part one of this but like I see you can actually see the increase here can you see that compared to the one next to it this one is a normal single crochet into one stitch this is um, two stitch into one you can see that it's actually there is two of this V thing 
sticking out from one stitch so this is how you tell an increase okay so 15 16 So 18, you're supposed to do 2. You see, this is how I remember, so that I don't lose track. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 so like i say we usually will count because at every row they will actually tell you what you're expecting at the end so let's count one two three four five six seven So we are on the right track and then we're just going to again do a slip stitch take out the marker and then tighten the last stitch and then in do a slip stitch standing stitch and then I'm going to do the first stitch of row 11 okay let's mark it first okay and then we'll go on to see what's the next one okay so we are done with row 10 and then row 11 it's going to be a one single crochet in each stitch around so it means that there's no increase or decrease okay so i'm going to finish this up and then show you when i'm actually starting row 12. okay so everybody i actually finished row 11 and then i actually did the first stitch of row 12 and then let's look at row 12 now it says one single crochet in each of the next three stitches increase in next stitch repeat around 40 stitches at the end so if you do the quick math again 32 40 so there's an increase of eight stitches meaning there's eight sets of um um just like just now so how does this go three stitches so it's three single crochet and then one increase and this is one set okay and then this one is actually four stitches in total for one repeat and because we have 32 just now so it's actually eight sets of repeat and that's why we actually increase with eight stitch so this is going to be the same as what i show you in row 10 and uh, i'm going to um show you one more time uh so that you know it's really like um a crochet along kind of thing so this is the first stitch and then we're going to same same kind of um concept so this is four stitch so i'm going to count in multiples of four two three four
So at the fourth one, I did a two crochet into one. Okay, five, six, seven. So you're just going to repeat um, for the rest 9, 10, 11, 17, 18, 19. How you know that which is the correct one is actually you look at this. If you pull, you notice that the circle the, the gap here actually becomes bigger. Can you see it? Can you see? Can you see? It's like opening its mouth. This is how you see that this is the stitch that you actually just went through. And then you know that you're going to go for the next one. 19. It's a 19. 20. If I want to check whether I'm doing it correctly. Now I'm at 20. So if I divide by 4, I should have increased 5 stitches. So now I can actually do a count from the start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25. So it means that it's correct that I have actually finish until stitch 20 and then I will have to continue till the end so this is one one way to actually keep keep track you know maybe you know you are crocheting and then you got distracted because your kids were calling you or somebody called you you know then at least you don't need to really you know focus and then you know don't disturb me and then if you disturb me then there it goes I'm gonna repeat the round again so um um so the rest of the round is going to be like this and then what it says is that from row 13 to 18 it's going to be one single crochet into each stitch which means that for this 13 to 18 row there's no increase and then after that uh, we are going to look at the 19 which is a decrease um so i'm going to finish up until um row 18 and then we will continue with row 19 so let's do row 13 to 18 on our own and i'll see you back later